Here comes the main course and the reigning champion, Ollie Hoare. Ready to do something special, Kara? That's what we hear, Paul. That's what we hear. Ollie Hoare is in such good shape. He's been more of a pacer in helping out his teammates in different races, but he had said this is what his eye was on the whole winter, was coming here, defeating or re defending his title here, but also perhaps snagging a world record in the process. And you talk about teammates. It's an interesting setup because it's different nationalities. And here's Yard Nagoose, fresh off an American record at 3,000 meters. And you know what's interesting about that is that we saw Nagoose run that amazing 728, 3,000 meters, but he said he was more confident that he could go after the mile record of 349 of Bernard Lagat. So we will be watching to see if an American record falls. And next to them, another teammate. <laughs> Mario Garcia Romo. Garcia Romo had an incredible race at the World Championships with a huge personal best to run into fourth place in the final. All three of these men are capable of winning this. Don't fault start in a Wanamaker mile. That's the one thing you don't want to do here, and it's going to be a special race. Only seven men in history have broken 350 indoors in the mile, and 18 years to the day that Bernard Lagat broke the American record. Yard Nagoose is the top American going after that mark, and maybe Ali Hoare going after something even more special. As they get to racing, the guy they go to as the man to set the pace in these distance races is the 800-meter specialist, Eric Sawinski. And you know, this is interesting, Paul. We see all three men that train together out front together. This is how they train. They're used to being with each other. They're used to chasing each other. But at the same time, they know each other's weaknesses. They know where each one struggles. And at this point, they've decided to just go out as a team and dominate this effort. And have broken away from the group. Neil Gorley, who won last week in Boston, now trying to get back in within contact of Nagu. Sam Tanner, who just got beat by Gorley at the line. The New Zealander also trying to get back in the mix. But it is very swift here early on in the Wanamaker Mile. It is very swift. And that's why we see such a strung out race only a little over a quarter of a mile into this race. It is so strung out already. And Garcia Roma has decided he is just going to attach himself to himself to Sawinski and get dragged out here. At some point, Sawinski's going to step off and someone's going to have to do the work, but they want to take advantage of him as long as possible. Garcia Romo was the runner-up for Ole Miss at 1,500 meters in last year's NCAA championship, and now chasing down the backstretch with Sawinski. Hoare is going to get on a plane tomorrow to fly to Australia to compete in the World Cross Country Championships in the team event. Would like to have that trophy maybe in his check-in luggage as he goes overseas. Meantime, Nagoose in the mix, then Gorley, Tanner, Eric Holt, and Josh Thompson as they come through as designed, 153 or so at the half mile. That couldn't have been more perfect pacing to take them through the halfway point. And we see Hoar, he seems a little antsy. He's floating out into lane two a little bit. It's almost as if he doesn't want to chop his stride, but he's not ready to go quite yet. This is such an incredible race out of all of these men. And again, we could see multiple Records fall. So this is the key, Kara. What happens now for the leaders when they lose the pace setter, Sawinski? It's their race now. Garcia Romo, Hoare, and Nagus, the three teammates with three laps to go. And you know, Ollie Hoare has a little Laura Muir in him. He is not afraid to go to the front. He is not afraid to do the work, put that target on his back end, push, push, push. And we see him now slowly moving on the outside. I think he's probably going to slip in and see if he can power away over the next two laps. But Nagus has decided he is going to go with him. You can be teammates on most days wearing the same uniform, but when you're in a race for the Wanamaker Trophy, you're no longer teammates, and now Nagoose moves to the lead. And Nagoose is moving up. He has that record, 349. He wants to get that. That is in his sights, and he knows he's right on pace right now, and this is very interesting. He's decided, I'm going to take it. I'm going to pull myself and my teammate forward because I do not want to fall off this pace. And Gorley back there in third against the New Balance winner a week ago. The native of Scotland was an All-American at Virginia Tech. Going up against Tor and Nagoose, the American, a lap away from taking down a Wanamaker mile and going after Bernard Lagat's record in the last lap of this Wanamaker. And this is what makes Nagoose so dangerous. He looks so relaxed. You can't tell that he just picked up the pace and ratcheted it up. And look at the dominance of this. We talked about the American record, 349.80. But look at that world record down to the lower right of your screen. 347.01. Yared Nagus. A new American record.
third. What a race out of Nagus. You know, he was injured in the outdoor season. We didn't see him until the end of the season, but he has just put his name on the map to look for this year with an American record in the 3,000, now a big American record in the mile. And remember who he's taking that from, the legendary Bernard Lagat. This is an Olympic medalist, a world champion. This is big. Second fastest time in history, only behind Yamif Kajelch's 347.01. Let's look at this last stretch of the race. And see how high his feet are coming up in the back. That's where he's getting that power. That is making his stride so big and fluid. He is so flexible in this moment, and that is how he is powering away. It doesn't look like he's necessarily sprinting because he's so calm, but he is moving so quickly with that high back kick through the line. And how about for the OAC teammates? Garcia Romo, new national record finishing in fifth. Ali Hoare equals his national record in third, and Yared Nagus, a new American record. He needs eight more Wanamaker wins to pass Bernard Lagat, but makes history 18 years to the day. I mean, what a, what a way to run your first Wanamaker mile, to win it, and to win it in American record style. This is a huge day for him. This cements his legacy, and this is very, very exciting for him as he moves forward in his career.